Hi there. In the following video, we're going to demonstrate the test of incremental respiratory muscle endurance. This test is incredibly useful because not only are we able to provide the maximum inspiratory pressure, which is a very valid tool to assess respiratory muscle performance, since we have the patient start from residual volume, so they're going to empty their lungs completely, and then they're going to breathe all the way into total lung capacity. So we'll see um, from residual volume to total lung capacity. So they'll be breathing in and generating pressure for as much volume as they can generate or hold into their lungs. Uh, so we get a nice measure of peak single breath capacity. So in addition to getting the MIP measure, which is the peak pressure within the first two seconds, we also get the duration um, of inspirations or how long they're able to breathe in, as well as we'll be able to get peak power or power over time, um, which is the area under the curve of pressure, which we will be tracking with our software pressure over time, giving us pressure time units or total work capacity. We can also get several characteristics of the curve of their work generation. I like this test almost analogous to the uh, 30 second Wingate test where we look at peak power and the total work done over a period of time as well as the slopes. We can see how quickly they fatigue. So um, a measure that's becoming very useful for from this test is the slope of that sustained pressure maneuver. Um, again, looking from the peak pressure to the, the time point um, at which they, they conclude the test. So we can look at peak pressure, we can look at time, we can look at uh, total work or the area under that curve of pressure plotted over time, and then the slope of that curve. And in the following, we'll demonstrate that test. With this video, we're going to demonstrate the test of incremental respiratory muscle endurance. We have Melissa here, who's going to serve as our mock patient. We have our Pro2 trainer device, which also we can use for testing. Um, and to perform this device, you'll also have to pull up the app to collect the data that's freely available in the iTunes store, as well as I think the Windows store for Droid-based devices. Um, we'll demonstrate that um, in a different lab and different, different video. But for the positioning for this test, the patient will be seated in a chair with their back supported, their feet flat on the ground, their knees bent, and their hips bent, so that 90-90-90 position. The instructions you'll give to the patient are, Melissa, I'm going to want you to empty all the air out of your lungs. You're going to breathe all the way out. You'll place the device in your mouth and you'll breathe all the way in. You can even come up into a little bit of extension when you do that. Okay, so you can start hunched over as you breathe out and then come up into sitting as you breathe in. We're going to clip your nose so everything's focused on one area um, of pressure generation because this test measures how much pressure your breathing muscles can generate. So I'm going to have you clip your nose here. And while you're breathing in, I really want you to focus on breathing from your chest and your abdomen and try to limit the cheek muscle usage. It's kind of hard with the, with the mouthpieces, but you want to limit it as much as possible. Now, typically you would give the patient you know, some instructions before just doing it the first time. We already went through some familiarization with Melissa before this video, so she's gone through the test before. Okay, so uh, let's get you going. So start over, empty all the lungs out of air out of your lungs, place the device in your mouth, and breathe in, keep going, 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 keep going. Good. So you'll go until they can can no longer continue to breathe in. So this test starts at residual volume, so all the air is out of her lungs, and then she goes until she um fills her lungs completely. So it's residual volume to total lung capacity, and that's the test of incremental test of incremental respiratory muscle endurance. Uh, you can unclip your nose and you give the patient a minute rest in between each trial. You typically do three trials up until five at most, okay? That's it.